Hey everyone, Phil here with my weekly analysis. Looking at eight charts total, four A grades and four B grades. Let's get rolling with the A grades. So first I'm looking at the USD CAD for a short. My entry is just above the 61.8 FIB area. And reason is because these spikes that we had got rejected uh, ultimately by this area, but we did have some spike throughs. A majority of the candles in this area spiked through. So I'm hoping that price would come up spike through, hit my entry, and then turn around. Looking for a to the pip entry on this one. We also have the daily 55, the weekly 55, 1.33 psych level, stop loss tucked right above 78.6 fib area. Looking to short it all the way back down here. Nice risk to reward looking like 43 pip stop loss and 135 pip take profit. Next A grade, looking for lightning to strike twice on the Aussie yen. This one, we uh, managed to catch this one last week. It was a great trade. <laughs> if we stayed in, oh boy, would have been in for another 200 pips, but can't complain. Locked this one out at 175. So seeing what price is going to do in the area it's at right now, it's kind of looking like a double top. Wouldn't short it. Uh, it's kind of the opposite of catching the falling knife here. But if price does kind of recorrect, go back down with this recent trend. Um, usually when I see a move, a drastic move like this, there's usually kind of a recorrection. So looking for price to fall back down. If it falls back down, entry right above the 200 daily. We have the weekly 55 trend line, 78.6 fib. Bunch of goodies, reasons for the trade. They're about a 60 pip stop loss and a 170-ish pip take profit. Next A grade is the New Zealand yen. Looking at a bunch of yen pairs this week, but this one, instead of being all the way down at the 78.6 fib area, I'm looking to take this one right above the 87 psych level, because we also have that a little bit lower, uh, major area of support and resistance definitely has to do with the psych level. But then we also have the 50 fib and the daily 55. So for all those reasons, with my stop loss tucked underneath the recent low of today's candle, um, stop loss there is looking at about 40 pips, take profit a little under 100. So a little above a one to two there. Last A grade is the New Zealand CAD. And this one, we just have a mess of EMAs. We have some stacked higher time frame, weekly 55, monthly 200, daily 200, 61.8 FIB, 8, uh, 0.83 psych level. And usually when you have a mouthful that much, it's a good area for price to react. So looking for price to climb back up, push through the daily 55, which has been showing some resistance, push back up through, hit the entry, get scared by all of these EMAs and levels and FIBs and whatnot, and get pushed back down. If price did hit this and moved into profit, when it got into this back into this area by the 50 fib and this zone in between the 50 fib and the 55 EMA, that's definitely when I'd be considering closing part of the trade out and my stop loss would definitely get moved because there's a chance that this turns into support and it turns back around. And that trend kind of continues with the B grade. Aussie yen is first on that list. Now, similar to the New Zealand yen, I am looking at the 50 fib area. We also have very strong 140 psych level. And these B grades, some of which just barely miss the cut for an A grade. And the reason that this misses the cut, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see just how far it was the volatility from last week, which allowed us to catch the move in the first place, but still how far I would have to move my stop loss to get underneath the recent low. That's why it's a B grade. I'm still using the daily 55, which all three areas are tucked right together. 50 fib, 55 psych level. So definitely an area where price is likely to react. Stop loss on this one's about 35 pips. Take profit looking at 140 to go towards the top of the recent move, threading that doji right there. Next B grade is a split on the Aussie CAD. This one is similar to the New Zealand CAD where we had kind of this area in between the FIBs and the EMA. So what I would be looking for price to do is get pushed back up, 
Um, and I have my lower entry kind of where these tops got to and where this top was here and my higher entry if there's a little more of a push underneath 10 pips underneath the psych level of 0.9. So looking for the price to get rejected by that psych level, we also have the daily 200 and the weekly 55. 78.6 up there guarding the stop loss along with some recent highs. So stop losses on this one's about 55 pips on each entry, take profit about 120, 125 pips. So uh, a very good risk to reward there. Next on the B grades is a pound New Zealand trade. This one, been looking at it for a little while. It's a range trade. We have a recent trend line, we have the daily 55 and a major area of support and resistance that have drawn in on the monthly time frame. So looking for price to fall back down and get rejected by its own trend line. And then we have these extra areas down here adding as reasons for the stop. Stop on this one's about 70 pips. The take profit is almost 300, looking at about 280. So uh, definitely good potential trade. It's been ranging kind of in this area that it's been doing, but it's still quite a big range. So looking for price falls back down to that trend line. I wouldn't want to trade it from here because we do have history of it going lower and the history is quite recent. So looking for price to fall down a little more. And last on the list is a CAD yen. Now this one, I do have a trend line drawn from the monthly. I have the FIB with the 78.6 and the daily 55. It's just those three reasons. And again, a spike of the volatile recent low adding, uh, making this a B grade. But if we zoom in and kind of take a closer look, we can see that price did find some pretty good support on this 55, but we did have some nasty spike throughs. So this is something I would definitely be cautious and curious about. Um, the Aussie yen is a better setup here so depending on how the week goes, might cut this one short, but we will see. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.